This looks like it could be a really big week for trading in crude oil once again. We'll take a technical look here in the chart preview of some of the upcoming things that could move the uh, crude oil markets in the coming week. We'll start off with a quick technical look at crude oil here. As we've seen, this is a uh, about a year and a half chart. We had a steady downtrend in crude oil through most of 2015 and into the early part of 2016. We had a double bottom in February. Since then, crude oil has steadily been recovering. Now as it's moved up here recently, it's come into this area here between about 42.60 and about 45.60 and it's starting to trend sideways. This is not unusual. We can see in any uptrend or downtrend you often get points where uh, you get some consolidation. We're near a Fibonacci cluster. This level here is a 50% retracement of the decline off the 2015 top. This is a 23% retracement of the decline off the 2014 top. So not a surprise we're seeing oil level off in here. Now the question is where are things going to go from here or where could things go from here? Well, well first of well, so far it looks like we're having a pause within an uptrend, even though it seems to be struggling a little bit. RSI had gotten a little bit overbought, but look, generally speaking, it's still holding above 60, suggests the underlying up uptrend is still intact. And more significantly here, crude oil looks like it's getting ready for a golden cross. Now, unlike the supposed golden cross we saw in the S&P, which was in the middle of a sideways trend, this looks like it could be a significant trend change here and a signal. We've seen a double bottom. We've seen oil start to pick up a golden cross here would be a confirmation of a uh, of a trend that already appears to be emerging and most importantly we're not in a sideways trend we're coming out of a clear downtrend so this is a trending market where we've had a trend shift and a golden cross of the 50 day up through the 200 day would be quite significant and this is currently in and around about 39.35 this also is a Fibonacci retracement 32 percent of the decline off the 2015 top so we're, uh, we're looking pretty good technically here for oil. If we do break out, next resistance would be up around 48.10, a 62% retracement, or the $50 level. This is a big psychological barrier. And look at this. There was this shooting star where it peaked above 50 back in September and came down. That's still valid. So that 50 could be a, uh, a significant hurdle for crude oil. Crude oil trading uh, does look like it could be quite active in the week. We not only have the regular uh, weekly data, the API and the DOE and the natural gas and the Nidro rigs and so on, but also it's a big week for China data, uh, starting with the trade balance and running through to industrial production, retail sales. One of the things that's been driving crude uh, recently on, on the demand side has been, what is the health of the Chinese economy? Is China's demand for oil slowing? Is it strengthening? China's economy doesn't seem to be falling off the bottom like it did back here, which drove down this, this decline. At the same time, though, it's still kind of muddling along so we'll get an idea this week of how uh, how China's economy is acting that could have an influence on longer term pricing for crude oil also a longer term interest we are still seeing US production decline but it also though soft weakening US production does limit the upside perhaps to about 50 bucks because at some point you'll see a point where all this US production that's been coming off stream or getting shut in could find its way back on speaking of which shut-in production also could have shorter term impact on trading in oil this week particularly related to the wildfires in northern Alberta that have engulfed the city of Fort McMurray, forced the evacuation of 80,000 people. And uh, the fires so far have stayed away from the oil sands plants, but with all the workers having been evacuated, they don't have anybody to run the operations. So, And, and in fact, a lot of the operations uh, have become home where people that fled north have been... Uh, have been staying in in and around some of the oil sand sites. So uh, for the time being, we are seeing a shutdown. The uh, the Canadian oil sands operations are quite significant. We've got about half a million barrels a day shut in. Uh, some people have speculated that could go up to a million barrels a day. So that could have a short term impact uh, on the uh, on trading in the oil and gas markets uh, as well. So looks like we're in for another week for of. Uh, activity in the crude oil market but this week could be particularly significant looking for significant technical confirmations or rejections.